Welcome back to my latest updates. Unfortunately, the springs are not sensitive on this enough here to get it to vibrate at a great distance away. If I take the two rare earth magnets off, hold them in my hand, I can feel them vibrating at a great distance away, but the springs are too stiff to even register it by shaking violently, whatever. So I'm going to show you what this thing looks like when I bring it closer. Okay, now first of all, I'll turn on this hybrid immense resonator number four. That's how it's now number four. And I'll bring this closer here. This starts by running like hell when it gets closer. Now you look at it, it's, it's wide running like hell. You can't even see the springs. It's wide running like hell. The idea of the springs. <sighs> Just absorb the vibrations. Oh, something like that, in here. Put that wire away there. Bring it closer. This thing, if the springs are a bit more softer, it'll vibrate easier and throw it away, but not because the springs are too stiff. Yeah. Now look at this here. Oh, yeah, it's work its way slightly closer. That humming noise here is a spring vibrating. Now I'll put it up top there. See, I've got a magnet on each side of the middle in one of my springs. Now, it's very hard to see the naked eye. I might catch it better on camera. Yeah, it's vibrating like I've got to hold my hand there. The idea was to get this thing to vibrate from that far away, about every metre away, which I could feel it in my hands. But because these springs are stiff and not soft enough, it won't register the small vibration. So anyway, that's hyperdimensional resonator number four. I was just testing out that um, gadget I made there. Okay, thank you for watching my latest update.